Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth a generation witch. I was recently looking at the Newton Institute, which is a hypnotherapy past life regression specialist institute based on the workings of Michael Newton, I believe. Now, they have done over 70,000 studies of past life and interlife regressive hypnotherapy. And everybody who they have studied says the same thing about the interlife, the time between your life now and your life then. And so this is what I wanted to discuss today. Um, now my interaction with everybody in, in this world has confirmed my belief of reincarnation and my studies in this area have led me to exactly what the Newton Institute claim. I don't need the evidence because I speak with spirits all the time, you know, on a daily basis. As a spirit medium myself, I talk to them. They are energy beings. and But I wanted to take you through the process of death. Because once you know that death is just going home, you will lose, as I have, total fear of death. I have no fear of death in the slightest because this is simply for me going home. What actually happens when you die? When you breathe your last breath, this is the point where the soul rises up from your body. And you'll see so many videos about this, especially of animals in the room where people have died and they'll watch and track something as it moves up and across their ceiling as the person has died. It's absolutely fascinating. Now, when this first happens, obviously you're a bit shook up, aren't you? Because you just died. <laughs> so, you know, it's not necessarily the easiest thing that you've done in your life, the unmerging of your body and your spirit. However, it is also really important at this point to go towards the light. At this point, you might be greeted by other spirits, you know, your mother or your soulmate or whoever it is who might have died that you've known in this life because you'll recognise them immediately and they will take you to the world of spirit. It can take up to three days for this to happen, though, because it's, you know, it's quite a shock, isn't it? You don't know whether you're coming or going and looking at your body and often, you know, people say who've died in a car crash which is very traumatic and instantaneous they'll just wander off back home and you know hang out there for a bit until they realize that they're dead and then they can move on once you follow your instinct and go through to this tunnel of light it's like a portal hypnotized patients all describe it as like a portal or a, a doorway or a tunnel of light it's a movement through and this takes you to the realm of spirit and the realm of spirit is where you will meet all those people you have loved and known and all those people that you have loved and known in previous lives you will see those loved family members that passed before you they're living in the earth but it's an earth that is just greater and better and more real then we know it is like a perfect earth. I mean, I can't wait to go to a perfect earth. That sounds wonderful. And so when you connect with your spirit family, you have a celebration. They all gather to welcome you back home because that is where you are. You have come home. These are the people that you choose to be with and they choose you. We have a saying on this earth that you can choose your friends but you can't choose your family. Well in the world of spirit you choose all of them. So the people that you love and who love you are those who are with you and you celebrate with them. They are there to welcome you you home and that must be the most wonderful feeling apparently under hypnosis the subjects are all crying at this point tears form from their eyes it's such an emotional happiness and relief at being home it is you know i mean you have a lot of choice in this world you don't have to stay in the spirit world you can come back to this earth at any time that you choose and so often those who have recently died will come back and 
attend their own funeral. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's be quite interesting to hear what everyone has to say about you. I mean, I've been to a couple of funerals where I, I wouldn't like to be the person who's being talked about because the eulogies weren't as uh, one would have hoped, shall we say it that way. But it is something that you can bear in mind when you go to a funeral now. The person whose funeral it is, is most likely to be there. Nobody can harm you in this planet. You can't be physically harmed. So there's no, you know, those strong emotions that we're subject to because of our instinct, our base instincts. There's none of that in the world of spirit. That doesn't mean to say that we don't have intimacy with people. Many hypnotised subjects have mentioned that there is intimacy with your soulmates, I suppose you would call them, where the two of you merge your energetic bodies together and sort of enter each other's consciousness so that you can see and feel and be one person together. And this intimacy is beyond anything that we can possibly know on this earth. Now, the spirit world is um, a realm where an awful lot of things going on. But when you first leave this human life and move into the world of spirit, one of the first things that you need to do is to review your life on Earth. And this review is you looking at every action that you took and decision that you made, the way you spoke harshly to your friends and loved ones, the way that you might have shouted at this person and you review those bad actions and see if you could improve on them. And likewise, you can review all that you have learnt because we are on this physical world in order to learn and grow. It is incredibly important to have hardship in order to appreciate and grow and love and, you know, be aware of what is good and great in your life. So if you are without love, when you find it, you will treasure it that much more. And, and so that is why you need to review your life to understand what mistakes you made, where you can move forward, where you could learn, and just in general overview the life that you have lived. Because we are all here, not just in you know <laughs> material things, because what does that mean? Nothing, does it? But in your soul, we are here to grow. The next part is really planning your next life because if you haven't learnt the lessons that you were hoping to learn from this life that we are living now, we can go ahead and plan our next. We'll choose our parents, we'll choose our friends, we'll choose and make agreements with our soul family, those who we love in the world of spirit and wish to reincarnate into this physical world with. So, for example, then I, I've come to this world with maybe six people, maybe six, who I knew in previous lives. And then I've made new connections and they will be connections that I will carry into eternity. For example, my current husband, by the way, hi, Mr. Metherall, I do quite like you, by the way. I know I shout a lot, but you're quite cool, really. And when I return to spirit and he returns to spirit, he will be part of my soul family. So we choose and we plan our future life. So we choose our parents, we choose our friends, we choose which souls are going to reincarnate with us and we make agreements with them, you know, okay, well, we'll meet each other here or around here and we'll do this and, you know, because we need to grow from this, we need to learn from this. And often when I'm doing past life regression with my clients, I will ask them, what do you think you learned from that life? And it's fascinating to hear what they come up with. I just use my witchcraft in order to get people to remember their past lives. It's not difficult at all. Instead of remembering five years ago, you're just remembering 300 years ago or whatever it might be. And it's fascinating to hear people's past lives. Um, people have chosen to come to this world and live a very traumatic and difficult life where they've hurt other people and they've done bad things. And I asked them, why do you think you chose that life? Because you would have chosen to do those bad things because you need to learn from that. Likewise, the people who you did those bad things to chose that you would do those bad things to them so that they could learn from it. 
It's a very harmonious, in a kind of weird way, in the fact that we choose often to come back to extremely traumatic lives. For example, those caught up in wars will have chosen to come back to being caught up in the wars. They'll probably have more of their soul family around them in this life so that they have that necessary support and love, or maybe not. Maybe they've chosen to have the hardest life of all and be all alone without their soul support family and go through trauma so that they can learn from it. It's a fascinating subject that past life hypnotherapy studies have all shown that people, regardless of their beliefs, regardless of their faith, say the same thing. Then when their soul leaves their body, it rises up from the body and they can look down upon themselves. They go through a tunnel of some kind or a portal into the realm of spirit. They meet their loved ones. They review their life. They plan their future lives. I would love it if you joined me for a past life regression. So do go and have a look at patreon.co.uk forward slash Ginny Metherill because there is a past life course on there. Do let me know if you have remembered any previous existence. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you with another video soon. <laughs>